Chapter 91 I didn't say that I don't hit women you are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 91 I didn't say that I don't hit women translator. Atlas Studios Editor Atlas Studios after Nian Yu returned home, she had already received a name list from Fu Xiuyuan. She did not find the information she wanted and it seemed to have been within her expectations. She had gone to make trouble at Blood Wolf's base in Jiang City only because she hated these shady things jumping around under her watch. Really, there was probably more than one family who wanted to take her blood. Now, she was curious about what was in the blood of this body. The next day, the first two classes were Chinese. Nian Yu was leaning on the table sleeping. Seeing that she was not focused, he looked a little helpless. She was someone who scored full marks for every exam other than Chinese. What grudge did she have against him that she didn't even want to write an essay? Even if she had written 300 to 500 words like a primary school student, she could at least pass the exam. But she did not even write a word. He really suspected that Nian Yu did it on purpose. When class was finally over, the language teacher called her to the office. The teachers of the other classes had just finished class. When they saw Nian Yu walking in with the language teacher, they looked a little curious. Nian Yu was a magical existence in their eyes. Some teachers would even look for her to discuss questions and solutions. However, Nian Yu's way of solving the questions was simpler and faster than theirs. The students of class A were already impressive enough, and now there was the goddess of studying in the form of Nian Yu. This really crushed the intelligence of these teachers. Nian Yu, can I ask you why you didn't write an essay during the exam? The language teacher asked sincerely. He had never made things difficult for students. Looking at Nian Yu's behavior, she did not seem to hate Chinese classes. Nian Yu had stayed up too late yesterday and looked a little tired. However, she still gave him face and replied, No, do you not know how to choose the questions or discuss your opinions? The language teacher asked what she was concerned about. Both. The language teacher was speechless. I have a few worksheets here, take the time to memorize them. I don't expect you to memorize them all. Just write what you know on them during the exam. Let's try to pass the next exam, all right. The language teacher was really worried sick. When Yen Yu returned with the essay book, Lin Nan was shocked to see her holding it. Sister Yu, did the sun rise from the west? Although she would occasionally pay attention in language class for a while, compared to other classes, Yen Yu clearly slept more in the language class. If you have problems with this website, please continue reading your novel on our new website freewebnovel.com thanks. Yes, old son gave it to me. Nian Yu casually stuffed the essay book into the drawer. It was obvious that she could not be bothered to memorize it. Then, she took off her school uniform and found a comfortable position to continue sleeping. The day's class passed under the expectations of the students. When school was about to end, there was a commotion in the corridor. Liang Yu seems to have come to our school, really. Is she coming to our school for the shoot? The clamor in the corridor continued, but Class A's students were extremely calm. When school was over, the students from the next class all ran out. Lin Nan scratched his head in frustration. Was it the one yesterday? Didn't you meet her yesterday? Nian Yu's tone was lazy as she leaned against the wall. Her school uniform was loosely draped and she looked dispirited. That's different. We were separated by glass yesterday, Lin Nan complained. Besides, his only goddess now was his sister Yu. She was beautiful and valiant. He could not be bothered to look at other girls. When most of the class had left, Nian Yu slowly stuffed her books into her desk pocket, put on her school uniform, and left. Liang Yu followed Principal Wang into the office after greeting the students. The classes in Imperial City are similar to those here, and the progress isn't too far off. Principal Wang looked at the message and turned to speak to Liang Yu. Liang Yu came from the Imperial Capital. The education resources there were more than one grade higher than number one middle school. 
she only came to number one middle school to maintain her image as a top student. Thank you, Teacher Wang. Liang Yu nodded, still maintaining her good smile. She was from the imperial capital after all, so it was inevitable that there was pride in her voice. Her results were among the best in the imperial capital. She really looked down on the education resources in number one middle school. The students of class A have good foundations. Go with teacher Duan to class A, Principal Wang said as he glanced at Liang Yu's resume. In the end, the students of class A were experienced. In addition, with a genius like Nian Yu around, there would no longer be a halo above Liang Yu. Okay. Liang Yu nodded. The moment she turned to open the door, she suddenly turned to Principal Wang and said, However, I hope that the students of number one middle school will be quiet and not affect my reading of the script. She was referring to how she was surrounded by other students when she first arrived in school today. Teal tell the students about this. Principal Wang had a headache. He originally didn't want to accept Liang Yu. Students from the imperial capital were arrogant and looked down on schools like Jiang City No. 1 Middle School. However, imperial capital No. 1 Middle School had specially reached out to him, so he could not turn them down. Furthermore, Liang Yu was only shooting a few scenes in the movie. If it was quick, she would be gone in half a month. He only needed to guarantee that Liang Yu would come to class during this period. Liang Yu left the principal's office and went to look for Class A. She heard that the former teacher of Class A had applied for leave today and did not come. Only the monitor came to bring her to the class. However, because she was late today, even the class monitor had to leave first. Liang Yu had been surrounded by a group of people wherever she went. This was the first time she had been aggrieved like this in a small place like Number One Middle School. Liang Yu felt extremely affronted. After being delayed in the principal's office for so long, the Year One and Year Two students had all returned to their classes for evening self. Study. There was no one to guide her along the way. Liang Yu finally arrived at Class A, where there were only a few students. It was completely different from what she had imagined. Liang Yu stood at the door and glanced around, only to see the aloof girl sitting in the last row stand up with her bag and walk towards her. Liang Yu's mood improved a little. At the very least, the students of Class A were not useless. There was also someone who knew how to read people's minds. The aloof girl had one hand in her pocket and her J-dot-like face was filled with indifference. She walked to her side and casually said, Please make way. You're blocking my way. That voice was extremely cold. Unlike what she had imagined, the smile on Yang Yu's face cracked a little, and her words were tinged with anger. Is this how Class A's students are raised? They don't even know how to greet their new classmate. Ian Yu finally looked up and glanced at her indifferently. Liang Yu was flustered and could not suppress the fire in her heart. Yu, Liang Yu was furious. Nian Yu did not even look at her as she walked past her. The other students of Class A were already used to such situations. This group of students had seen the world and would not think highly of Liang Yu just because she came from the imperial capital. Liang Yu also did not want to be mocked. She turned around and left the classroom angrily. When she reached the school gate, two bodyguards had already followed her. Miss, Director Shen said that the scenes from yesterday have not passed. They need to go for another take. Tell him that I'm not free today. Liang Yu did not have a good expression on her face. She had almost lost half her life during the shoot yesterday and yet Director Shen was still not pleased. FF not for the fact that she had taken a fancy to the influence of Director Shen's work and needed to rely on this movie to get a valuable award, she would not have taken part in such a thankless movie. But Director Shen said that the weather is just right today. The stage supervisor is already prepared, the bodyguard explained. Liang Yu's expression was extremely bad. Director Shen liked to do things his way. Even if she was the eldest daughter of the Liang family, she would still be scolded harshly by him if she did not pass one scene during filming. 
TT would be nice if the bodyguard came over to pass the message to her. Director Shen would probably be furious already. Let's go, get in the car. Liang Yu was in an extremely bad mood as she sat in the car. When the car made a turn at the school gate, Liang Yu unintentionally saw the aloof girl waiting at the intersection. A happy feeling suddenly rose in her heart. The red light turned green and the girl crossed the road. Follow her, Liang Yu suddenly ordered the chauffeur. But Director Shen is still rushing us, Teal bear the responsibility. Liang Yu's voice was a little vicious. After Nian Yu had walked for five minutes with her bag, a car suddenly sped up behind her and was about to brush past her. Accelerate. Liang Yu's eyes reddened. How dare a wild girl like her put on airs in front of her. If she didn't teach her a lesson, she wouldn't even know who she was. The driver stepped on the accelerator abruptly and the car sped past. The piercing sound of the brakes rang out and stopped in front of Nian Yu, blocking her way. Liang Yu got out of the car, her eyes filled with arrogance. Bring her here. Because of Liang Yu's special status, it was inevitable that she would have malicious fans on the streets, so the Liang family specially sent her bodyguards. The two bodyguards had been with Liang Yu for a few years and were already used to such situations. The girl's eyes were cold, but her aura was getting stronger. The moment the bodyguard grabbed her arm, she had already retaliated and pulled him over. Then, he kicked the person's abdomen her movements were fast and ruthless. The man was sent flying a few meters away by her kick. Even the other bodyguard was grabbed by the arm and thrown onto the ground. The aloof girl put down her bag and moved her wrist. She looked at Liang Yu with extremely cold eyes and said, I never said I don't hit women. Her disposition was cold and valiant, like that of a lawless hooligan. However, these actions were indescribably cool. Liang Yu was shocked. These two bodyguards had been with her for several years and were the best at martial arts. However, in Nian Yu's hands, they were like candy floss. What do you want? When Liang Yu saw her walk over, she could not maintain her expression anymore. I'm Liang Yu. If something happens to me, the Liang family will not let you off. Liang Yu threatened fiercely, but her words did not create the slightest deterrence in Nian Yu's eyes. All right then, I'm Nian Yu. You're welcome to come at me anytime. Nian Yu curled her lips slightly, the coldness in her eyes obvious. Then, she picked up her bag and school uniform from the ground and slowly went home. As for whether Liang Yu would cause trouble at the Nian family in school, it was not her business. Liang Yu's face turned ashen as she watched her leave. Was it Nian Yu? She would remember her. Nian Yu took the time to make a trip to the largest hospital in Jiang City for a blood test. Since so many people wanted to take her blood, she had to see what was inside. After drawing blood, Nian Yu took off the cotton bud and put down her sleeves. Then, she asked unhurriedly, when will the result be out? This was a private hospital controlled by the Lin Group. The doctors inside were all from the Lin Group. The doctor assigned to her was Old Master Lin's personal doctor. His name was Lin Lang. He was only 30 years old and was already the chief surgeon of the cardiology department. Half an hour. Lin Lang glanced at her again. You'll have to wait for a while for the rest, okay? Nian Yu agreed readily. With one hand in her pocket, she walked to the bookshelf in the room. Other than saying that this was Lin Lang's office, it would be more accurate to say that this was his private library. There were countless medical books inside. Ian Yu casually took one and flipped through a few pages. They're all Latin and are more difficult to understand. If you're interested, I have a few introductory books here. Lin Lang came out in a white coat and casually took out a pharmacology book. This should not be difficult, Ian Yu casually flipped through a few pages of the Latin text. You have quite a lot of books here, surprise flashed across Lin Lang's eyes. He had spent a lot of effort to get these books. There were some books that even those who studied medicine did not know. 
how could a female student who had not graduated from high school like her tell? If you're interested, you can take them. Just remember to return them to me when you're done. Lin Lang was very generous. All right, thank you. Nian Yu did not stand on ceremony and took a few books. I'll return them to you later. In the post-apocalyptic world, the most common alchemy skills were the combination of herbs and supernatural powers cultivated in laboratories. Western medicine was also used a lot in the post-apocalyptic world. However, she had never read some of the books Lin Lang had. She had always had a photographic memory. In half an hour, she had already read a third of a medical book. Lin Lang had already come out with the test report. His expression was heavy. Why? Is there a problem? With one hand in her pocket, Nian Yu glanced at the report. Your body temperature is too low, and you have a potential supernatural power, your temperature is only 34 degrees Celsius, but you don't have any symptoms of muscle stiffness or hypertension, Lin Lang walked up to her, his eyes probing. There's an unknown energy in your body. This energy complements your blood, are you a supernatural being? Lin Lang looked at her a few more times. Chapter 92 Don't you understand human language? You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 92 Don't you understand human language? Translator Atlas Studios Editor Atlas Studios The little girl in front of him looked to be only 17 or 18 years old, but her face was extremely cold. You've seen espers. Nian Yu raised her eyebrows. I've been fortunate enough to meet them in the past. Lin Lang smiled. In this world, mutants are very rare. Ordinary mutants will be hunted unless they have a strong backing. After all, Humans have an inclination to kill unknown things that they can't control. From his tone, he didn't seem to be surprised by superpowers. However, she did not find any information about espers or supernatural beings on the internet. You should have a rare lightning and wood. Elemental superpower, Lin Lang rubbed his chin and guessed. Electric power is extremely lethal. If those guys find out, she would either be used or hunted. He didn't dare to say this. Since Nian Yu approached him, it meant that she had tremendous trust in him. Although this trust was based on her relationship with old master Lin. Did you find anything else? Nian Yu continued asking. It's more complicated to examine the cells. It might take a while, Lin Lang thought for a moment and said, you'd better not use lightning power casually. Otherwise, it will cause irreversible losses and you might be killed. Other than lightning in the natural world, there was also nuclear power. No matter which one of these two abilities was used by her, the damage it would cause to the world was immeasurable. All right, I understand. Nian Yu nodded. I don't want a third person to see this information. Of course. Lin Lang pushed his glasses up the bridge of his nose. I'll contact you as soon as the results are out. Sure. Nian Yu had one hand in her pocket and the other holding the book she had taken from Lin Lang as she left. Lin Lang looked at the report in his hand with a deep gaze. Electric power that was powerful and uncontrollable. When Nian Yu returned to her class, it was quiet. She carried her school blazer in and went straight to the last row. Her desk was filled with books but she saw Liang Yu behind it. And Liang Yu happened to be at her location. If you have problems with this website, please continue reading your novel on our new website freewebnovel.com thanks. Liang Yu was holding a script in her hand and wearing the school uniform that Noel Middle School had just issued. Seeing her enter, Liang Yu was the first to stand up. Nian Yu, do you mind if I sit here? The aloof girl walked in without looking at her and casually placed her blazer on the table. Only her face was filled with unruliness. Scram. Her voice was cold and ruthless. The seats in the class are mobile. Who said that this seat is yours? Liang Yu did not expect her to be so direct and her face turned pale from indignance. Besides, 
I only have half a month of class here. What's wrong with giving me your seat? Don't students have to be united and loving? Don't you understand what I'm saying? Nian Yu raised her eyebrows slightly, but her voice became colder. Liang Yu wanted to say more, but the aloof girl raised her leg and kicked the chair. The chair was kicked against the door and Liang Yu was shocked. She had never seen such a big scene before and her face turned pale. Before she knew it, her collar was lifted from behind and she was thrown out. The Liang family's foundation is in the imperial capital. Jiang City is not a place in which you could behave atrociously. Nian Yu had one hand in her pocket and could not even be bothered to look at her. The next time you don't understand human language, get lost with those two. She was referring to the bodyguards guarding the door. After she beat up the two bodyguards who were with Liang Yu yesterday, Liang Yu had changed her bodyguards today. The two bodyguards were in the corridor. When Yan Yu was beating someone up just now, a classmate had already drawn the curtains. Therefore, the two bodyguards outside did not know what was happening. It was only when Liang Yu was thrown out that the two bodyguards rushed over to help her up. After such a thing happened in Class A, Duan Yu and Principal Wang immediately rushed over. When Principal Wang saw Nian Yu sitting in the last row, his forehead twitched. People like Liang Yu were used to being arrogant in the imperial capital, but they did not amount to anything in front of Nian Yu. Principal Wang, I think you're tired of this job. When Liang Yu saw Principal Wang coming over, her face turned ashen. Do you know the consequences of offending the Liang family? Such a lawless student will only bring trouble to Noel Middle School. Principal Wang rubbed his temples. Liang Yu, you were indeed in the wrong. You took Nian Yu's spot without asking. All the students in Class A treated Nian Yu like a princess, but Liang Yu was so insensitive as to aim at her. I think I told you before that I need a quiet environment here. Liang Yu's eyes were high. If I take a fancy to that seat, it will naturally be mine. As for her, there are so many seats in your class. Can't she just take one? What kind of logic is that? There are so many places on the road, why don't I see you sleeping there? Lin Nan sneered. Miss Liang, one can't be so shameless. The dove has taken over the magpie's nest and is still speaking eloquently right. After following Nian Yu for a period of time, Lin Nan was good at retorting. This sentence hit the nail on the head. It was vicious and irrefutable. Liang Yu's face turned ashen. Who are you? Do you have the right to speak here? The Lin family of Jiang City has more weight than you, the eldest daughter of the Liang family. Lin Nan couldn't be bothered with her. He said to the group of lackeys behind him, Can't you see that Sister Yu is in a bad mood? Hurry up and chase her out. All right. Miss Liang, our class can't tolerate a big shot like you. I think you should go back to where you came from, that's right. Celebrity, go and film your movie. Don't spoil the fun here. The group of students from class A could not stand it anymore and chased her out without any explanation. Liang Yu was furious. This was the first time she had been treated like this. The class returned to silence. Nian Yu leaned against the wall and glanced at Principal Wang. Principal Wang coughed dryly. This was an accident. With Nian Yu as the big boss, Lin Nan, and a computer genius like Wang Zhizhi, Liang Yu was nothing. Liang Yu gritted her teeth in anger and walked out angrily. At this moment, her phone rang. It was Jiang Jincheng. Miss, I asked you to check on someone. Why haven't I heard from you? Chapter 93 That stone was his life. You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 93 That stone was his life. Translator Atlas Studios Editor Atlas Studios, it's all because these people from Jiang City don't know what's good for them. Liang Yu was furious and had long forgotten her usual image. Especially that Nian Yu from Class A. She's too arrogant. Nian Yu. 
Jiang Jincheng raised his eyebrows when he heard this. That little girl was so devilish that she usually couldn't even be bothered to look at him. If she had a conflict with Liang Yu, it was highly likely that Liang Yu had lost her temper again. Yes. Liang Yu nodded. Didn't you have business here the last time you came to Jiang City? Do me a favor and teach her a lesson, I can't touch this person. Jiang Jincheng sneered. Ninth Master wants you to check something. If you can't find anything tonight, you should give up your position, his words were obvious enough. Liang Yu had been in Jiang City for two days, but there was no progress on the mission given by the other party. Fu Xiuyuan would not allow her to stay if she continued to make no progress. I understand. At the mention of that man, Liang Yu suppressed the anger in her heart. Other than being the eldest daughter of the Liang family, she was also a member of the Fu family's technical team. The technical team kept a low profile, so she did not expose this identity. Besides, she knew how sick that man was. Besides, it was the Liang family's honor to be able to stay in the Fu Corporation with such an identity. When Liang Yu thought of this, she composed herself and took out her computer to start working. Other than acting in Jiang City, she had another reason for coming. The IP address of the hacker who destroyed the Imperial Capital's defense network was near Jiang City. However, she couldn't find the specific address despite searching for a long time. Therefore, she had specially come here to find some clues. Besides, that man was also here. Fu Xiuyuan was swiping his phone with his head lowered. It was a message from the financial team. Boss, there's been a stock market shock in our nation, noted. It was only two words, but it made the eyes of the financial team widen. The last time an investment genius like Fu Xiuyuan dabbled in finance was three years ago. After that, he stopped doing so. But now, he was attacking again. There was a bloodbath in the economy, and even the country was shaken. However, this piece of news was suppressed the next day and disappeared without a trace. If you have problems with this website, please continue reading your novel on our new website freewebnovel.com thanks. After what happened in the afternoon, Liang Yu became much more obedient in class. Duan Yu found a corner seat in the last row for her and she was typing on her computer. Even though Principal Wang had explicitly prohibited them from coming to class, the students from the other classes could not help but be curious and came to class A to visit Liang Yu. Actually, most of the students were still leaning against the window after hearing about Nian Yu. They took a few more glances at the girl sitting in the last row in the middle. The pretty student who scored full marks for the exam was the subject of discussion among these students. While Nian Yu would usually either sleep on the table or play a couple of games, she had been studying a thick foreign language book for the past two days. The book was filled with words, but she was fascinated. Lin Nan had improved rapidly these few days. He turned around and looked at what she was looking at. Is this Latin? He had learned this in the past, but he did not know much about it. Nian Yu's book was difficult to understand. There were many words that he had never even seen before. Yes. Nian Yu nodded and turned around to look at him. Don't leave after school. I want to talk to you about something. Lin Nan felt a chill down his spine when he heard that she was looking for him for something. Last time, when Nian Yu looked for him alone, he was beaten so badly that he lay on the bed for two days. This time, he hoped he would be able to withstand a few more blows. When school was finally over in the afternoon, Liang Yu's expression was still extremely ugly. She had almost tracked down that person's address, but it was still a little short. Noel Middle School. Where was she going to find someone in such a huge place? Nian Yu, who was at the side, had already slowly put away the book and stuffed it into the drawer. Then, she put one hand in her pocket and said to Lin Nan, let's go. Her voice was a little cold and her back view was extremely cool. There were quite a lot of people on the field. Some boys were playing basketball on the basketball court while the other students were taking a walk in twos and threes. Nian Yu took off her school blazer and glanced at him. 
Let's start. Before Lin Nan could react, he was kicked in the calf. Lin Nan made an attack gesture. Sister you, sorry. Then, he threw a punch at her. After more than a month of practice, his speed improved very quickly. However, compared to Nian Yu, who had been on the battlefield and had actually stayed in the army camp, he was still far from it. Half an hour later, Lin Nan lay on the ground. He was so tired that he could only breathe. You're still impatient. Nian Yu half dot knelt in front of him and pulled his arm over. You were too, demanding. Lin Nan did not say the last word. When he fought with that group of hooligans, he was not as ruthless as Nian Yu. Your physique is not good. Nian Yu stood up and gave him her hand. Lin Nan grabbed it and used it to stand up. This is a potion to strengthen your body. You can soak in it for half an hour every day. Nian Yu casually took out a transparent bottle. Lin Nan took the potion and glanced at it a few times. When he saw the label outside, the shock on his face could not be concealed anymore. This is the Lu family's beginner dot level potion. Legend had it that the Lu family was a famous pharmaceutical family. A bottle of medicine could be auctioned for $10 million. But three years ago, the Lu family suddenly disappeared without a trace in the capital. The medicine that the Lu family had concocted back then had also reached the pinnacle. The highest price was auctioned for hundreds of millions. But Nian Yu actually took out a bottle of low dot level potion for him casually. It's not from the Lu family. Nian Yu shook her head. Her face was a little cold and there was an unknown tone in her voice. But its efficacy is much better than that of the Lu families. Nian Yu had absolute confidence in what she had personally concocted. I will work hard. Lin Nan held the bottle in his hand. His voice filled with excitement. Nian Yu had given him such a thing. No matter what, he could not disappoint her. Nian Yu had one hand in her pocket and her gaze was a little cold. It was 10 p.m. When Liang Yu finished typing the last code and saw the IP address, a look of relief flashed across her eyes. She had been chasing after it for more than half a month. Now that she had finally found the IP address, she felt relieved. She sent the address to Fu Xiuyuan's phone and walked out with her computer. The bodyguard reached out and took the computer from her hand. Miss, Director Shen is here. Tell him that after today's matter is settled, I'll return to the group tomorrow. Yang Yu was in a good mood. It looked like Director Shen was not completely useless these few years. At the very least, he finally knew her identity as the eldest daughter of the Liang family and needed him to invite her personally. No, the bodyguard hesitated. Director Shen wants to choose the female lead of the next movie, what kind of female lead can be chosen in a place like this? Liang Yu sneered, her tone filled with pride. Director Shen has lived for so many years. Why is he getting worse? What kind of talents could there be in a place like this? At the same time Director Shen was holding his phone and was a little excited in the principal's office. This person is from your school, right? Principal Wang took Director Shen's phone with a headache. When he saw the photo, his eyes darkened. She is indeed a student from our school. Do you have her contact details? I want to contact her personally, Director Shen's face was filled with excitement. When he went to Noel Middle School this afternoon, he unintentionally saw Nian Yu fighting with Lin Nan at the field. He took a photo on the sly. That girl's actions were clean and efficient. Her jade-dot-like face was countless times prettier than many female celebrities in the entertainment industry. Her slender figure totally matched the requirements of the female lead of his next movie. She's in her third year of high school this year, Principal Wang sighed. She doesn't have time to go to your company, such a god-dot-like figure had not appeared in Noel Middle School for so many years. All the teachers in the high school were waiting for her to become the college entrance examination champion next year. At this moment, how could they possibly let someone like that film a movie? I'm not in a hurry for my next movie. 
it's still in the preparation stage. Director Shen coughed dryly. I just feel that she's talented, so I want to get her contact details and audition her, it's getting late. If Director Shen has nothing else to say, I'll go back first. You can talk to her during class tomorrow. Principal Wang pretended to chase him away. Nian Yu was usually quiet, but he did not dare to provoke her. Did you find this? In the room, the man in black had a deep gaze but his words were extremely cold. Fu Xiuyuan was still holding a document in his hand. There wasn't much content on it, and he could finish reading it with a few glances. Liang Yu could not quite figure out his temper, but when she thought of what she had finally found out, she gained courage again. That person is too cunning. I've been investigating for half a month, and the target's address is at Noel Middle School, that person only appeared once. I suspect that he's someone from the Hacker Alliance. Liang Yu voiced her guess. He specially transferred his IP address here. The man in black did not say anything, but the aura he exuded became even colder. Liang Yu couldn't help but look up at him. Go out first. Fu Xiuyuan rubbed his temples, his voice sounding a little tired. Liang Yu stood up and carefully glanced at the man before leaving. Fu Xiuyuan had already closed his eyes, but the aura he exuded became even colder. Without the energy stone, his physique was starting to fail again. Liang Yu closed the door and stopped outside for a long time. That person's skills were much better than hers. She had chased after him for half a month but could not find any trace of him. If not for this man, with her pride, how could she have spent so much time in a small place like Jiang City? Liang Yu stood at the door for a while more and glanced at her watch. Five minutes. Then, she turned around and pushed open the door again. The room was quiet. Only the warm lights on the roof showed the coldness of the room. The man in black supported his face with one hand. His usually cold face seemed a little pale because he had closed his eyes. Liang Yu walked over slowly. Finally, she reached the man. There was a hint of infatuation in her eyes. She had always been following this man around, walking step by step until today, all because she wanted to stand shoulder to shoulder with him one day. She reached out to touch the cold face. In an instant. She just needed to touch it. This thought lingered in her mind as Liang Yu slowly stretched out her hand. With a plop, her wrist was suddenly grabbed by someone and her collar was grabbed. Before Liang Yu could react, she was thrown out. Her back hit the hard wall and she turned pale from the pain. Xiu Yuan, Liang Yu endured the pain and got up from the ground in a sorry state. One don't mean to hurt you. I saw that you weren't coming out and I thought something had happened to you. The man in black was cold and his eyes were as deep as ink. Get out. His words were extremely cold. Did you not use that stone? Liang Yu bit her lower lip and quickly walked out when she met the man's cold eyes. Liang Yu walked to the corridor and couldn't help but take out her phone to call Jiang Jincheng. You didn't get hold of that stone the last time you came to Jiang City. Jiang Jincheng heard her gasp and knew that she was thinking about something she shouldn't have. We got it, but it's useless. Why? Liang Yu gripped her phone tightly. Very few people knew about those things. With Fu Xiuyuan and Jiang Jincheng's abilities, it was impossible for them to not even be able to take back a stone. Do you know Nian Yu? Jiang Jincheng raised his eyebrows. That stone is with her now. You mean, Xiu Yuan gave it to her? What do you think? Jiang Jincheng sneered. So, stop having those thoughts. Otherwise, I won't be able to protect you. That stone was practically his life, but he had given it to Nian Yu. Impossible. Liang Yu hung up angrily. Nian Yu, what capabilities could a wild girl from the countryside have? She had taken Fu Xiu Yuan's stone. At the Lin family residence, Lin Nan had just soaked in the potion for half an hour. His entire body was now smooth. 
even the muscles that were usually sore due to the high intensity of training had disappeared without a trace. Lin Nan changed his clothes and went out to look for Nian Yu in a hurry. He believed that this bottle did not belong to the Lu family. Those potions from the Lu family could not have improved him that much. Old Master Lin was reading the newspaper on the sofa. When he saw him rushing out, he looked a little puzzled. This brat, why did he lock himself at home these few days? I don't know. Mother Lin smiled. But it's true that he has been going through business reports in the recent days. Even his results have improved. Lin Nan was a hooligan and usually did not listen to anyone. It wasn't that he hadn't scored a zero before. After being taught a lesson by old master Lin, he became much more obedient although his results were still not stable. However, in recent times, his results have stabilized in the top 10. But I heard that the Lu family is coming out of retirement, Mother Lin said as if she had thought of something. The Lu family had been hiding in Jiang City for three years and rarely showed themselves. If not for the fact that Old Master Lin had a close relationship with the Lu family, they wouldn't have known that the Lu family was in Jiang City. But the Lu family had been silent for three years. Why did they come out so easily? Chapter 94 Kidnap You Are Listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 94 Kidnap Translator Atlas Studios Editor Atlas Studios, it must be because of the potion, old master Lin's eyes were deep. When Lin Nan came back, no one else could tell that he had taken the medicine. He could tell at a glance that it was no ordinary item. When Lin Nan found Nian Yu, she had just come out of the shower. When she received Lin Nan's call, she changed her clothes and asked him to wait for her before walking down. When Lin Nan saw her, he could not hide the excitement in his voice. Sister Yu, your medicine is amazing. After I soaked in it, my body became much lighter, yes. Nian Yu grabbed his arm and pinched his body. There was a cracking sound coming from Lin Nan's arm. Lin Nan was in so much pain from her grip that his face was contorted. Finally, Nian Yu released her grip after pinching both arms. You've barely passed. The last time she trained Lin Nan for a month, it was only to build up his foundation. Now that he had the support of the potion, he would improve rapidly. Lin Nan stretched his body and realized that he was more agile than when he came. Remember to run back with 20 pounds of weight. Nian Yu patted his shoulder. Dot, ha. Lin Nan's jaw almost dropped when he heard her words. TT was at least 10 kilometers from Nian Yu's place to his. FF she wanted him to run back and carry the weight, he might not be able to get out of bed tomorrow. You don't want to run. Nian Yu raised her eyebrows. Why don't we have a fight? Whoever wins will make the call. Ian Yu stretched her wrist. She had never liked to drag things out. She would not speak if she could. Besides, in her opinion, a fight was the fastest way to solve the problem. No need, I'll run back now. Lin Nan hurriedly retreated. I'll leave the car with you. I'll get the butler to come over tomorrow. Bye, Sister Yu. Before Nian Yu could react, Lin Nan had already taken the sandbag from the car and tied it to his leg. He turned on the GPS and ran home. Ian Yu looked at his back view and the corners of her lips curled up. She turned around and returned to the estate. When she reached the entrance of the house, she saw a man in black, looking as cold as jade. This man seemed to have his own light. No matter where he was, as long as he appeared, everything around him seemed to lose its luster. Nian Yu walked over. When she got closer, she realized that the man's face was a little pale. Nian Yu frowned slightly. Fu Xiuyuan. This was the first time she had called his name. Her voice was cold and hoarse. Fu Xiuyuan looked up when he heard this, his eyes a little deep. After seeing her, the coldness in his eyes melted at a visible rate. His deep eyes were fixed on her, but he did not react at all. Have you been drinking? 
Nian Yu raised her eyebrows. From the first time she met Fu Xiuyuan, this man had been terrifyingly calm. This was the first time she had seen him so quiet. Please open the door for me, Fu Xiuyuan said lightly. Password. Fu Xiuyuan said a string of numbers and Nian Yu pressed the password. The door opened with a beep. Her wrist was suddenly grabbed and the man beside her suddenly leaned over. A cold fragrance assaulted her. Nian Yu subconsciously grabbed his arm with the back of her hand and was about to attack. Help me in. A man's voice came from above her head, and Nian Yu's heart softened for a moment. Okay. Ian Yu wrapped her other hand around his waist and helped him in. He had almost placed all his weight on her, but Nian Yu acted as if nothing had happened and helped him in. Take a right turn in the bedroom, a man's voice came from above. Ian Yu turned on the lights and found the bedroom. She helped him in. When she helped him onto the bed, Nian Yu was about to let go when she felt a grip on her waist and her entire body was pressing down on him. Ian Yu was about to react when she felt her wrist being grabbed. She pounced into his embrace instinctively. There was a faint wine fragrance on him, the smell extremely faint. In her previous life, she had a lot of contact with those people when she fought. She even ate and lived with them in the army. However, she was used to living like a man and the unique feelings of girls towards members of the opposite sex did not exist for her. Fu Xiuyuan Nian Yu's face darkened and she was about to hit him. She didn't think she was close to him enough to have such physical contact. Especially when he was such a dangerous man. Fu Xiuyuan was even faster than her. With a turn of his body, he pressed her under him. As she had just taken a shower, there was a faint milky fragrance on her body. The milky fragrance was very faint, so faint that it could relieve the pain in his body. I'm not feeling well. Fu Xiuyuan leaned on her. Let me lean on you for a while. This man was always noble and elegant. When had she seen him speak like this? Where's Jiang Jincheng? Nian Yu raised her eyebrows. The man lying on top of her was motionless. The man's gentle breathing could be heard. He seemed to have fallen asleep. Nian Yu frowned slightly and rubbed her temples with her fair and slender fingers. She had a headache. Fu Xiuyuan was too strong, making her unable to breathe. After an unknown period of time, Nian Yu's eyes were deep and she was thinking about the possibility of knocking this man unconscious. She had never fought with Fu Xiuyuan, but they had teamed up once. Her instincts told her that this man was at least as strong as her. Half an hour later Nian Yu had a headache. She exerted a little force on her leg and was about to kick him. However, she recalled how this man had given her the bracelet without a word last time and helped her solve a lot of problems. If you have problems with this website, please continue reading your novel on our new website freewebnovel.com thanks. Their relationship was not too bad and she felt she should help him. At the thought of this, Nian Yu retracted her leg. After an unknown period of time, the air was so quiet that only their breathing could be heard. Hearing her gentle breathing, the person who had been hugging her finally opened his eyes. His eyes were extremely deep, but they were terrifyingly hot. Nian Yu was undoubtedly very beautiful, especially her eyes. There was a hint of indifference and evilness in them. At this moment, her eyes were tightly shut and her fan dot like eyelashes cast a long shadow under her eyelids. Her nose was high and her cherry lips were slightly pursed, as if she had not slept well. When Nian Yu woke up the next day, she felt her body stiffen. After being hugged by a man for the entire night yesterday, she didn't even know how she fell asleep. When she opened her eyes, she felt that her body was still being hugged. Nian Yu wanted to kick him, but when she thought of the scene yesterday, she endured it. Forget it, she would not take it personally with a sick person. Nian Yu waited for another five minutes with patience. The man hugging her finally showed signs of loosening. The moment he released her, Nian Yu had already flipped over and got off the bed. Other than some wrinkles on her body, there was nothing wrong with her. 
The aloof man had already gotten out of bed. When he saw her, his eyes were a little deep. Are you all right? Nian Yu raised her eyebrows. Mm -hmm. Fu Xiu Yuan took his jacket from the bed and put it on. Sorry about yesterday. It's fine. Nian Yu waved her hand at him, not taking yesterday's incident to heart. I'll get going first. With one hand in her pocket, Nian Yu walked towards the door. When she reached the door, Nian Yu grabbed the door handle and was about to pull it open when her hand felt warm. His hand was already on hers. Then she opened the door. Jiang Jincheng rushed over anxiously and ran to the door. Just as he was about to enter the password, he heard the door being opened from the inside with a click. Nian Yu, when Jiang Jincheng saw her, he was in a daze for a moment. When he saw Fu Xiuyuan behind her, he looked a little dumbfounded. Until Nian Yu left, Jiang Jincheng's face was still a little stunned. Did you have a relapse yesterday? Not to that extent. Fu Xiuyuan rubbed his temples. It was just that without the energy stone, it was more difficult for him to suppress some things. You didn't have to give her that energy stone. Jiang Jincheng thought of that stone and felt his heart ache. Energy stones were rare in this world. This stone had been painstakingly followed by the intelligence department for a few years before they found it. In the end, he passed it to Nian Yu. It was hers to begin with. Fu Xiuyuan rubbed his temples, not wanting to say more about this. Sure. Jiang Jincheng knew that he wouldn't go back on his word, so he didn't say anything else. The Liang family knows that Liang Yu is in Jiang City, so they asked you to take care of her. The Liang family was famous for being protective. Usually, Liang Yu could do whatever she wanted in the capital. How could the Liang family be willing to let Liang Yu suffer in Jiang City? If she wants to stay, she can. If not, she can get lost. The cold and noble man only left these few words. It was obvious that Jiang Jincheng was already used to this man's cold personality. The Liang family might say cordial things but when they really met Fu Xiuyuan, they didn't even dare to let out a fart. At the sanatorium, old master Nian had woken up early and was exercising in the courtyard. Assistant Zhang was still holding a document in his hand. Old master, young master has the intention to get Nian Yan married into the Chen family, is it the boy that Yu Yu likes? Old master Nian asked. He knew how much Nian Yu liked Chen Iran. No, assistant Zhang shook his head. It's Missy, Nian Yan. Old Master Nian raised his eyebrows. Isn't she still in her third year of high school? Isn't she preparing to develop her music career? Yes. Assistant Zhang nodded. However, it seems like the media caught young mistress and young master Chen having an affair ahead of time, so young master is thinking about the marriage between the two families, what did you you say? Old Master Nian continued asking. Second mistress didn't say anything. She ran into young master Chen's class once and beat him up. He did not expect that the seemingly gentle and weak Nian Yu would be able to attack without any hesitation. However, it had to be said that he admired her guts. Ha ha ha, when old master Nian heard this, he laughed out loud. As expected of someone from the Nian family. This style of doing things was not sloppy at all. I have underestimated that little girl, old master Nian laughed out loud. While the two of them were talking, the door of the sanatorium was suddenly kicked open by a group of men in black. Class A had just ended school and the corridor was in a mess. Sister Yu, someone called you just now. They said they wanted to talk to you about something, Nian Yu had just entered the class when Lin Nan passed her the phone. Sometimes, Nian Yu did not live like someone from this era. She did not even like to carry her phone with her. In fact, Nian Yu was used to seeing high-tech technology in the post-apocalyptic world. Cell phones were too useless in her eyes. Hearing the voice on the other end of the line, Nian Yu's eyes turned cold and even her aura turned cold. The voice on the other end of the line was a little hoarse. 
the person used a voice changer and said, Miss Nian, at the harbor. Old Master Nian is in my hands. Who are you? Nian Yu's eyes turned cold. We just fought a few days ago. Don't you recognize me now, Miss Nian? The man's hoarse voice came from the other end of the line. The energy stone is in my hand too. Miss Nian doesn't want the only person who can hold on to this secret to die without a burial place. Blood Wolf. Nian Yu raised her eyebrows. Miss Nian is as smart as ever, Blood Wolf chuckled on the other end of the line. I'll wait for you for an hour. Then, the call was abruptly cut off. Nian Yu's eyes darkened. Since the previous score had not been settled, they would settle the old and new scores together. I'm going out for a while. With that, Nian Yu left in large strides. She had not taken the energy stone from old master Nian the previous time. It had only been a short while since someone had started targeting this stone again. Sister Yu. Lin Nan saw that her expression was not right and wanted to chase after her. But where was Nian Yu? Ian Yu walked to the entrance and stepped into the off-dot-road car. When she left the school gate, the car had already sped out after a 180 degree drift. Ian Yu narrowed her eyes and her aura became even colder. She stuffed her Bluetooth earphones into her ears and said in a deep voice, Help me check the address of the call just now. Wang Jiji received the order and started typing on the computer. In just a moment, the address was out. A warehouse at the harbor, Wang Jiji sent her a message. Sister Yu, there are a lot of them. The leader seems to be called Blood Wolf, he and you had asked her to check on Blood Wolf. All right, I understand. Nian Yu stepped on the accelerator. Inform Lin Nan and the Lin family's guards to watch over Lin Lang today. Lin Nan was too inexperienced now and would not be a match for them. Old Master Lin had once unintentionally told her that the Lin family had their own guards. Wang Jiji hurriedly nodded in agreement. She turned around and said a few words to Lin Nan, who had already walked out of the class with his school uniform. However, Wang Jiji was in her class, staring intently at the computer screen. Her palms were already drenched in cold sweat. It was Blood Wolf. Not an ordinary hooligan. Nian Yu was a young lady. She was afraid that Nian Yu would suffer. However, she could only provide support now. The class was already used to Lin Nan and Nian Yu disappearing from time to time. At this moment, on Jiang City's third ring road, a black SUV was speeding along the road. Nian Yu looked at the GPS and her eyes turned colder. It looked like blowing up the Blood Wolf's warehouse was too light. He had still escaped. When the car reached the corner, Nian Yu grabbed the steering wheel and drifted 180 degrees. With a beautiful turn, the car had already flown out. Chapter 95 Taking Her Blood You Are Listening at Novel Full Audio. Chapter 95 Taking Her Blood At this moment, at the harbor, a man in a black suit and a silver mask was holding a cigar in his hand. He was leaning against the chair indifferently. He glanced at the unconscious old master Nian and instructed the people behind him, wake him up. Someone had already taken a syringe and stabbed it into old master Nian's arm. The red liquid gradually entered his body and old master Nian finally came to his senses. The man in a black suit had already walked up to old master Nian slowly. He was still playing with the crystal clear energy stone in his hand. Old master, where did you get this? Blood Wolf asked. I'm old and I like to collect some strange things, Old Master Nian's face was calm. On the other hand, what business do you have with an old man like me? Old Master Nian was someone who had seen much of the world in the past few decades. It seems like Old Master Nian still doesn't understand the current situation, Blood Wolf scoffed coldly. Why is the energy stone with you? Where is the thing inside? What energy stone are you talking about? I don't understand. Old Master Nian's turbid eyes were as calm as ever. I got this stone from an old friend. I don't know what you mean by the energy stone, 
Almost as soon as old master Nian finished speaking, a black muzzle was pressed against his temple. Blood Wolf's eyes darkened and he said, Old thing, you've lived long enough. I don't mind giving you a lift. A glint flashed across old master Nian's eyes so quickly that no one could see it. Although I'm old, old master Nian sighed and said, I'm still a member of the Nian family. Do you think you can escape if something happens to me for no reason? After all, the Nian family had a place in Jiang City. If he were to die for no reason, Blood Wolf would not be able to bear the consequences. Old Master Nian, you don't have to worry about that, Blood Wolf played with the pistol in his hand and said, actually, I'm more curious about the real owner of the energy stone coming over, what did you do? Old Master Nian was shocked. Don't worry, someone will come and accompany you later, Blood Wolf sneered and casually stabbed a tranquilizer into the back of Old Master Nian's neck. Old Master Nian wanted to say something but he felt a pain at the back of his neck. His vision went dark and he fainted. Bring him down. Blood Wolf put on his gloves and was holding a surveillance camera. On the surveillance was the scene of Nian Yu leading the SWAT team to his base and fighting with MOE. Compared to her opponent, her movements were faster, more ruthless, and accurate. Watching her fight was like watching a perfect combat lesson. MOE was famous for being fierce internationally. Those who fought with him usually could not last more than three seconds. However, this girl was easily his match with such speed and adaptability. If only she was a boy, Blood Wolf looked at the surveillance camera in his hand and suddenly said, girls should wear beautiful princess dresses and be more obedient, almost as soon as he finished speaking, the door was suddenly kicked open and a young girl in black stood at the door. She stood against the light. The moment she entered, the group of people behind MOE had already surrounded her. Swish. 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 All the guns were aimed at her. Nian Yu had one hand in her pocket and her gaze was cold. Blood Wolf. The girl who found the base the other time. Blood Wolf smirked. She's even more beautiful than I thought. If you have problems with this website, please continue reading your novel on our new website freewebnovel.com thanks. If only she was less violent. Such a young lady would be a feast for the eyes wherever she went. Thank you. Nian Yu had always accepted compliments without any reservation. Since you're here, don't you need to account for this? Blood Wolf held the stone in his hand and walked over. He was still wearing his military boots, which made an ear dot piercing sound whenever they touched the ground. What do you want to know? Nian Yu raised her eyebrows. The moment Nian Yu opened her mouth, Blood Wolf was already in front of her. He lowered his head slightly and said, Where's the thing inside? Don't tell me you've lost it. His voice was low and hoarse with a hint of desire for what was in the piece of jade. The thing inside, Nian Yu's eyes turned cold. Then, she suddenly moved and grabbed the Blood Wolf's arm. Blood Wolf seemed to have expected her attack and had already countered. The surrounding sniper rifles were also aimed at Nian Yu. However, her speed was too fast, leaving them unable to attack. Over the years, Blood Wolf had honed his martial arts as he wandered in the black zone. He was swift and decisive. However, Nian Yu proved to be quicker in her moves, the two of them fought for almost half an hour with no outcome in sight. If you keep fighting, I'll throw your grandfather's life away, Blood Wolf suddenly said in her ear. As Nian Yu loosened her grip for a moment, Blood Wolf had already grabbed her arm. With a forceful tug, her arm was dislocated with a crack. Nian Yu did not even frown. The two of them had fought for too long just now, and she was drenched in sweat. Sweat flowed down her forehead and into her clothes. Her cold face had an extreme beauty. Such a beautiful girl. I really can't bear to be ruthless, Blood Wolf said softly. Where is old master Nian? Nian Yu raised her eyebrows. You'll see him in a bit. Blood Wolf teased as he turned to instruct the person behind him, throw her in. If he had known that he could make Nian Yu come over so easily, 
he would not have spent so much effort. As Nian Yu followed them into the warehouse, someone drew a tube of blood from her arm with a syringe. Nian Yu moved her body. Other than her arm not being able to exert any strength, everything else was considered normal. She stood up from the ground and stretched her body. In an instant, the bones in her body made cracking sounds and she had already fixed her arm. After being nourished by the energy stone, this body was in an improved state. She looked around and realized that she was in a sealed small black room. Other than the light coming from a square window above her head, the room was terrifyingly dark. She spent a few seconds getting used to the darkness. When she saw Old Master Nian at the corner of the wall, Nian Yu walked over. Old Master Nian was under anesthesia and was unconscious. Her phone had been confiscated when she came over just now. She tried the communicator on her wrist, but there was no signal. Apart from an exquisite pistol, this bracelet was also a communicator. However, since the signal here was blocked, the communicator was not very useful here. She had already informed Wang Zhizhi and Lin Nan when she arrived and she was not concerned about her own safety. It was pitch black and there was no water or light. Was Blood Wolf going to wear her down slowly? Nian Yu narrowed her eyes. After a long while, her thin lips curled into a mocking smile. Inside the surveillance room, Blood Wolf played with the black phone in his hand. The expression on his face was unpredictable, and no one knew what he was thinking. Someone behind him brought a tray over. Boss, her blood has been drawn. The latest test will take place tomorrow. Okay. Blood Wolf curled his lips and looked at the surveillance footage. His eyes lit up. Such a beautiful girl. No wonder M.O.E. was not ruthless, even he was interested. I heard that you're quite interested in the answered the call and sent the surveillance footage to M.O.E.'s phone. M.O.E. was wiping his gun when he saw the projection on the big screen. He did not even look up. You're not dead yet. It looked like the explosives he used last time were too light. He did not die. Blood Wolf did not comment on his words or even reply. He just said, I see hope in this young lady, it was a vigorous vitality. It made one yearn for it. It was too attractive to people like them who had been living in the dark since they were young, forget it. M.O.E. sneered. On account of our friendship let me remind you. That girl is very evil. The aura she exuded was neither good nor bad. Sometimes, even he could not tell what it was. Only after he hung up did Blood Wolf's eyes turn cold. That young lady seemed to have a lot of secrets. However, he still liked this kind of cold little girl. She was much better than the outside world. In a dark room, Fu Xiuyuan was swiping pictures of the aloof girl on the black phone in his hand when the phone rang. It was Jiang Jincheng. Nian Yu went to the harbor, Lin Nan couldn't contact Fu Xiuyuan, so he called him and told him the situation. Give me the exact address. The man suddenly stood up, casually took the windbreaker on the back of the chair and walked out in large strides. You haven't recovered, Jiang Jincheng thought of his physical condition and his expression was a little ugly. The energy stone is gone. How long do you think you can hold on for? If it weren't for his physical condition, he wouldn't have come over from the imperial capital with Jiang Jincheng. The doctor from the Fu family had already urged him a few times, but Fu Xiuyuan acted as if he did not hear him and continued doing his own thing, it's fine. Fu Xiuyuan didn't even stop and walked out the door. Ask Lu Yong to come over, Lu Yong had been thrown to the Fu family in the capital to be retrained. It was time for him to see his results. It's just a young lady. She's still in school. Do you have to be like this? Jiang Jincheng had a headache. At first, he naively thought that Fu Xiuyuan was reluctant to leave because he had found something fun. Given that they were going to lose their lives, this did not seem fun at all, yes. After replying to Jiang Jincheng, Fu Xiuyuan had already hung up the call. Then, he started the car and drove towards the harbor. 
When Jiang Jincheng heard his light words, he was so angry that he almost couldn't breathe. Old Master Nian woke up in a daze. When he opened his eyes, he saw a girl with her arms crossed and her eyes closed as she leaned against the wall. Old Master Nian moved his body and forced himself to sit up. When Nian Yu heard the sound, she opened her eyes and walked over. How did you get caught by them? Nian Yu helped Old Master Nian up. She did not have much feelings for Old Master Nian. However, he was the one who saved Nian Yu's life when she was young and brought her up in the countryside. In the sanatorium, Old Master Nian did not seem to want to say anything more. He sized her up from head to toe and after ensuring that she was fine, he could finally relax. Do you know about that stone? Nian Yu rubbed her chin and continued asking. She did not have much contact with Old Master Nian, but from their conversation the previous time, she could tell that there was an intrinsic difference between Old Master Nian and Nian Chaoyu. At some point, he saw things more clearly than Nian Chaoyu. I guess I do. Old Master Nian nodded his head and said, I was fortunate enough to see it once when I was young. After that, there was no more, as if he had thought of something unpleasant, Old Master Nian became reluctant to continue on this topic. These people are vicious people. How did a young lady like you get here? When that group of people brought him over, he did not believe that Nian Yu would come. After all, the two of them had only interacted a few times. Nian Yu's personality was also cold. I drove here. Nian Yu glanced at him. I'll get you out of here. This group of people had arrested Old Master Nian because of her. Since Old Master Nian had suffered because of her, she would think of a way to get him out. I'm old, Old Master Nian sighed. In the past, I didn't fulfill my duty as a grandfather and didn't care much for you. That was why you suffered so much in the Nian family, Nian Yen looked gentle and generous, but she was not what she appeared to be. As for Wang Meihua, she was the legitimate wife of the Nian family who had managed to get to where she was today. She was also a ruthless person. He didn't think that could be a match for the two of them since she had grown up in the countryside. He took it for granted that Nian Chaoyu would naturally not treat her badly since she was a child of the Nian family, no need. Nian Yu looked up and her voice was as cold as ever. A late apology is not needed. Chapter 96 Do you want to try? You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 96 Do you want to try? Translator Atlas Studios Editor Atlas Studios the host was already dead. No matter the reason, no one could escape this responsibility, including old master Nian. The door was opened from the outside with a clang. Blood Wolf had been listening at the door for a long time. When he saw Nian Yu, surprise flashed across his eyes. Little girl, looks like I've underestimated you, he had dislocated Nian Yu's arm back then. If she wanted to heal it, she would have to experience the pain of removing a layer of skin. However, it seemed that Nian Yu was fine now. You've gotten your hands on the item too. Shouldn't you let us go now? Nian Yu raised her eyebrows. These people wanted her blood and it was about time for the results to be out. He, can be released. Blood Wolf pointed at Old Master Nian and looked at her with a hint of nonchalance. You can't. It was not easy for him to meet such a fun girl. How could he let her go just like that? Sure, let him go. Nian Yu lowered her eyes. I'll go with you. Sure. Admiration flashed across Blood Wolf's eyes. Send him back. He knew that he had not misjudged her. The young lady in front of him was cold but clear. Before old master Nian could say anything, he felt a pain at the back of his neck. He had already been knocked unconscious and brought out. Blood Wolf walked closer to her and sized her up, if you're not a citizen of this country, I might make an exception and bring you back to. It had been a long time since Blood Wolf recruited new blood. This young lady met his requirements in every aspect. Boss, bad news. While the two of them were talking, 
someone rushed in from outside. We've been surrounded. What did you say? Blood Wolf's eyes turned cold and his aura turned cold. Watch her carefully. Blood Wolf rushed out and looked up to see a helicopter parked in the sky. A man in black had a deep gaze and an extremely cold aura. Fu Xiuyuan. If you have problems with this website, please continue reading your novel on our new website freewebnovel.com thanks. Blood Wolf smirked. I haven't taken my revenge for the last time. I didn't expect you to come knocking on my door this time. The grudge between him and Fu Xiuyuan had been around for a long time. He had thought that the next time they met, he would completely resolve the conflict. This was the perfect time. Let her go. The man in black exuded a cold aura from head to toe. When he looked at him, his eyes were so cold that they could freeze someone to death. So you were looking for that girl. Blood Wolf seemed to have thought of something and his lips curled up into a smile. But she's in my hands now. Almost as soon as he finished speaking, a cold aura suddenly came from behind. The girl who had been locked in the warehouse had already walked out. She had one hand in her pocket and another on one of his men. She threw the person onto the ground and asked, Are you sure? Bello this voice was mixed with provocation and her face was wild and arrogant. Blood Wolf wanted to grab hold of Nian Yu but she was faster than him. The two of them started fighting. However, as the time they spent fighting increased, Nian Yu felt her speed decreasing. I forgot to tell you. When I dislocated your arm, I added something to it. A confident smile appeared on Blood Wolf's face as he tried to attack her again. Her arm was suddenly grabbed by someone and a strong gust of wind came from behind her. Nian Yu's waist was already grabbed by someone. Then, the man kicked her to the ground. Fu Xiuyuan seemed to be even faster. Before Blood Wolf could react, he had already kicked his lower abdomen. Blood Wolf flipped over and barely steadied himself. There was a bone. Chilling pain in his chest and a strong smell of blood in his throat. He reached out to wipe the blood from the corner of his mouth, and his gaze towards Fu Xiuyuan was getting more vicious. This isn't the first time we've fought, but your speed is a little slower than the last time. He had fought with Fu Xiuyuan and seen with his own eyes what the peak of this man's martial strength was. But Fu Xiuyuan's performance today was a little different from the previous time. This was his best chance. At the thought of this, Blood Wolf turned on the communicator. His voice was filled with bone-chilling coldness. Kill Fu Xiuyuan. He had suffered at this man's hands more than once. Since he had the chance today, he had to get it all back. That depends on whether you have the ability or not. Fu Xiuyuan's lips curled into a mocking smile, and his aura became even colder. A small pistol had already appeared in his hand. Nian Yu saw that the pistol was similar to hers, but it looked more like it was used by men. I'll go with you. Nian Yu's heart turned cold. Blood Wolf was here for her in the first place. She had no reason to let Fu Xiuyuan take the lead. Besides, her speed would only decrease for a moment. She had absolute confidence that she could finish him in five minutes with Fu Xiuyuan around. The three of them started fighting. Blood Wolf had just been kicked by Fu Xiuyuan and was already unstable. In less than three minutes, he was pressed to the ground. Lu Yong finally rushed over and held him. Don't move. When he received Jiang Jincheng's call, he rushed over immediately. This was Blood Wolf. The last time, he did not manage to catch him and allowed him to escape. This time, he had to catch him no matter what. A man in black had already walked over after putting away his gun. He looked magnificent, but his face was indescribably cold. Did you dislocate her arm just now? The man's voice was filled with coldness. When Lu Yong heard him speak, he subconsciously shivered. Young Master Fu also knows how to be gentle. Blood Wolf sneered. He had interacted with this man too many times. This man looked modest and gentle, but he knew how twisted his heart was. 
When the man heard his words, he did not even frown. He walked over and grabbed his arm. Then, there was a loud crack. This was the sound of an arm breaking. The same was done to the other arm. Blood Wolf was in so much pain that his face turned pale. There was already a layer of cold sweat on his back. Lu Yong felt a chill run down his spine when he heard the sound. This was akin to being tortured to death. Send him back, the cold man said slowly, but the aura he exuded was undeniable. Did he touch your arm just now? Fu Xiuyuan walked over while wiping his hands, his deep eyes glancing at her arm. It's nothing serious. Nian Yu smirked. Her arm had just been dislocated, so it was not a big injury. She had even experienced rib cage fractures in the past and endured the pain to carry out missions. But Fu Xiuyuan grabbed her wrist and held her arm. Come back with me. His voice was low and his body suddenly turned cold. Seeing that he did not look too good, Nian Yu followed him into the helicopter. It was the same hospital as the previous time. Nian Yu had gone in to draw her blood and was sitting in the corridor, replying to messages with her phone. Wang Zhizhi had monitored the entire process on her computer. She was very worried about Nian Yu and kept asking about what had happened. Nian Yu sent her a few messages to calm her down before replying to Lin Nan. She still looked cold. The hospital corridor was a little noisy. Nian Yu put on her earphones and replied to Lin Nan. Her eyes were lowered and her expression could not be seen. Her phone was suddenly taken away and Nian Yu looked up. Fu Xiuyuan looked indescribably cold as Jade and his eyes were as deep as ever. Especially when he looked at her, there was a hint of something else in his gaze. Does your arm still hurt? His voice was a little low and hoarse. It's not too bad. She said that it was still bearable. After all, she was someone who could reattach an arm without making a sound. Blood Wolf drew your blood and I destroyed it. Fu Xiuyuan's eyes were dark. When he looked at her, his eyes were deep. Your arm must have been drugged by him. If he hadn't seen it with his own eyes, he would have found it hard to believe that she could still fight the blood wolf while her arm was under anesthesia. Yes, thank you for what happened today. Nian Yu nodded, her voice full of seriousness. She could have gotten out by herself, but it would have been much more difficult. With Fu Xiuyuan's help, it was faster. The doctor had already come out with the test results. The drug that was found to cause neurological spasms in your blood. That man must have done it to her without her noticing. Yes, I know. Nian Yu nodded, her Wudot elemental power could eliminate things that were not good for her body. When Nian Yu returned to school the next day, Lin Nan and Wang Zhizhi felt relieved to see her with their own eyes, especially since Wang Zhizhi had witnessed the battle between her and the blood wolf. She still had lingering fears when she thought of that scene. Nian Yu leaned against the wall, feeling somewhat dispirited, at this moment, her phone rang. It was a call from Director Shen. Not interested, thank you. Nian Yu had already hung up, Director Shen became more motivated the more he was rejected. After school, he personally went to Class A to see her. As school had just ended, the other students were walking out of the classroom in twos and threes. Some of them knew Director Shen. After all, his works were too famous and he often went on stage with the actors to collect the prizes. Are you Director Chen? Are you here for Liang Yu? A student asked curiously in the corridor. Liang Yu, Director Shen is looking for you, Liang Yu, Director Shen is here to bring you back to the set. Some students jeered in the corridor. After all, Director Shen was not even 30 this year, but he had already won several big awards in the film industry. In addition, he had filmed a few movies, and Liang Yu was the female lead. Therefore, many people in the circle were saying that the two of them were a couple. Chapter 97 You can do all the booklicking you want you are listening at novelfull.audio Chapter 97 You can do all the booklicking you want The scenes from yesterday had been edited again and Liang Yu's face was extremely ugly. 
She had taken at least five shots of one scene, but director Shin refused to budge. She even had to parachute at an extremely high altitude. It went without saying that she could not do it at all and was currently not in a good mood. Hearing the commotion at the door, Liang Yu's expression eased a little. It looked like director Shen was not completely useless. At the very least, he knew that he had offended her and came over to apologize. Liang Yu slowly stood up and walked towards the door. Shen Jinran was standing at the entrance of the class. Liang Yu walked over. Jean Ran, are you looking for me for something? Her address made the surrounding students boo. How close must their relationship be to address each other as such? I remember that Nian Yu is in the same class as you. Shen Jin Ran wasn't surprised to see her. When Liang Yu heard this question, she was furious. After all that had happened, Shen Jin Ran was still looking for her because of Nian Yu. Are you looking for Nian Yu? Liang Yu suppressed her anger and almost could not hold the smile on her face. She should be sleeping, Shen Jin Ran glanced around Class A, they were all unfamiliar faces and he couldn't find the person he was looking for. There was only one person sleeping in the last row. Shen Jin Ran walked over. The person sleeping in the last row finally opened her eyes. Her school blazer was casually thrown on the table, and she looked a little irritated. Clearly, she had been woken up by the bustle outside. Hello, Nian Yu. I'm Shen Jin Ran. Shen Jin Ran walked over and reached out her hand. The girl looked up and said in a hoarse voice, Hello, I'm Nian Yu. I wonder if you can go out for a while to discuss about what I mentioned the previous time, Shen Jin Ran was very well. Mannered and had a gentle smile on his face from the start to the end. Nian Yu stood up from her seat and walked out with him. In a Starbucks outside the school gate, Shen Jin Ran ordered coffee. It was rude of me to come to your class to look for you, it's all right, tell me. Nian Yu smirked. I hope you can act in my next movie, Shen Jin Ran went straight to the point. I know you've never learned how to perform, but I want strength and explosive power, his next movie was a war movie. The female lead was a commander in the military. It was not that there were no female celebrities in the entertainment circle who came from the army, but they lacked the wildness. But Nian Yu did. If you have problems with this website, please continue reading your novel on our new website freewebnovel.com thanks. She had the aura of a gangster and was dashing and full of vitality. Nian Yu only returned to her class during the second lesson in the afternoon. When the students in the class saw her coming back, they could not help but do a double take. Liang Yu was the star who had come to Jiang City to film a movie, but Nian Yu was the one director Shen was looking for. Who exactly was Nian Yu? Nian Yu was sitting like a big boss as usual. She was holding a stack of papers in her hand. There were many words written on them. She casually stuffed them onto her desk. Then, she started a game. When the other students in the class saw that she had started the game, they all ran over to ask her to guide them. Sister you, help me play around. I've been stuck at this level for a long time, that's right, sister you. You helped Lin Nan last time. He's on the rankings now, sure. Nian Yu agreed readily. The group of people had already joined the battle with her. Liang Yu sat in her seat, feeling rather upset. She was clearly from the imperial capital and was a movie star. Wherever she went, she would be greeted by a group of people. However, she suffered an unprecedented cold treatment in Class A. This group of students had never taken her seriously. Instead, they treated Nian Yu like a big boss. Her deskmate was a boy wearing glasses. He guessed that she must be feeling upset at this moment and explained to her, Sister Yu is third in the entire server for pugilistic world. She's awesome at it. Last time, Mountain Ghost Network came over specially to poach her, but they didn't succeed, his voice was filled with envy. He had thought about how they had played for so long but had yet to make it onto the rankings. Nian Yu had only played for two months and was ranked third in the entire server. 
Indeed, the Almighty was in a different league. Liang Yu's face was expressionless when she heard that. Only the marker in her hand was deformed by her grip. By the time school was over, most of the students in the class had left. Only the students on duty were still cleaning the class. When she reached Nian Yu's seat, she saw a stack of papers under the table and casually placed it on her. The paper was filled with words, and the student did not look at it carefully. Liang Yu only walked over and took the stack of papers when the students on duty returned. Liang Yu's face darkened when she saw the contents. This was Shen Jinran's next movie. Because this movie was about war and patriotism, everyone in the industry knew that it would definitely be a hit before it was even shot. As there were even many first-rate female celebrities who had reached out to Shen Jinran privately many times in order to act in this drama, but he still refused to budge. Liang Yu had wanted to use this movie to build her reputation and win an award. She wanted Shin Jin Ran to invite her personally for the next movie. But was Shin Jin Ran going to let Nian Yu film this drama now? Liang Yu's eyes darkened before she took out her phone. When Nian Yu saw Lin Lang, he was fiddling with a bunch of bottles and jars in the laboratory. When he saw Nian Yu coming over, his face was filled with surprise. Your test results will take some time. I know. Nian Yu had one hand in her pocket and looked at him casually. How much do you know about supernatural beings? Not much. Lin Lang put down the test subjects in his hand and walked to the sink to wash his hands with soap. Then, he walked over and said to her, about supernatural beings, the earliest they appeared should have been a hundred years ago. My grandfather had studied them before, but there wasn't much information. You are the second supernatural being I have seen. Who was the first? Nian Yu raised her eyebrows. It seems to be a fellow from overseas. Back then, he deposited his blood with me, and then disappeared. Lin Lang shrugged. Yesterday, Lin Nan told me to be careful. Did someone come to look for trouble with you? Yes. Nian Yu nodded. Tell me if you encounter any trouble. If I or blood had caused Lin Lang trouble, she would help him solve it no matter what. When Yen Yu returned to class the next day, the class was still in a mess. She stretched out her slender fingers and rubbed her forehead. This group of brats was really troublesome. Nian Yu returned to her seat and took out a thick medical book that she had taken from Lin Lang the previous time. She had only read a few pages when she saw the class suddenly explode. A classmate from another class ran in from outside. Liang Yu, the internet says that you're going to act as the female lead in director Shen's next movie, right? Is it, the commander? A classmate turned around and asked. The Commander was the next movie that Shin Jin Ran had released early in the morning. It was said that he had spent a billion dollars in the early stages of the movie production. Except for the female lead, the remaining actors were all in place. And Hua they heard that Shin Jin Ran was already preparing for the audition. I've seen director Shin say that the Commander will definitely be super popular and explosive. Liang Yu's expression brightened a little when she heard the compliments. The audition for the female is still on. Liang Yu smirked, feeling a little impatient. She had already told Principal Wang not to let the students from the other classes disturb her. However, those students had never seen the world. Whenever they saw her appear, they would definitely take out their phones to take photos. But she liked the feeling of being surrounded by everyone. You've already acted in Director Shin's movie. The next movie will definitely be yours, the students from the other class were still flattering her when the back door was kicked open from the outside. Lin Nan was holding cups of milk tea in one hand and his school uniform in the other. He looked a little angry. Don't you know that class is starting? Why are you standing here? He casually passed one of the cups to Nian Yu and passed the other one to Wang Zhizhi. You, which class are you from? Lin Nan pointed at a boy. From class 4, I'll go with you to the principal's office and get Liang Yu to transfer to your class. You guys can then bootlick all you want. 
Lin Nan's face was extremely ugly. Everyone knew that Lin Nan was the one they could not afford to offend in the entire number one middle school. The boy didn't dare to say anything else. He quickly took the notebook on the table and ran away. The other students didn't dare to say anything else and followed suit. Liang Yu's expression was extremely bad, but when she thought of how she had suffered under Lin Nan's hands the previous time, she closed the book and walked out. The class instantly fell silent. Only Nian Yu, who was in the last row, still had the posture of a big boss. Crossing her legs, she leaned against the wall and looked up to ask, what's the commotion about? A boy turned around and explained to her, Liang Yu posted a script on social media today. It's some scenes from Commander. However, I heard that the background of Commander is rather grand and there are many explosive scenes, in other words, a rich missy like Liang Yu could not bear such hardship at all. Is that so? Nian Yu's lips twitched as her eyes darkened for a moment. The stack of A4 papers that were originally placed on her desk had already disappeared. Nian Yu did not say anything else. Instead, she lowered her head and continued reading. The auditions for Commander had already begun. Over the past few days, there were already a few trending topics on social media. Nian Yu rarely read the entertainment news. Occasionally, she would switch on her phone to read the military news in the country. Liang Yu went out for the entire morning and only returned in the afternoon. Returning to her seat, she took out a few books from her desk. Liang Yu's expression turned ugly when she did not find what she wanted. What's the matter? a classmate asked curiously. I lost my script, Liang Yu's face was pale. Before shooting, the script for, the commander, must not be leaked. If it was taken by a competitor, it would undoubtedly be a huge loss for the entire production team. No way, who would take your script for no reason, a classmate added, could it be that you took it out and forgot to take it back, no, I placed the script in the drawer before I left. Liang Yu shook her head and turned to Nian Yu. Did you take my script? The aloof girl did not even stop flipping through the book or look at her. The students of class A were already used to such behavior. Although she didn't say anything, she exuded an aura that said, don't provoke me. However, Liang Yu acted as if she did not see it and pulled the book out of Nian Yu's hand. Did you take my script? No. Nian Yu frowned slightly. It was obvious that she was not in a good mood after having her thoughts interrupted. I think it's you, Liang Yu's face turned pale. You're still brooding over the fact that I took your seat the last time, right? Do you know how much the entire production crew will lose if this script gets leaked? Don't you understand human language? Nian Yu raised her eyebrows. Aren't you going to admit it? Liang Yu opened the book on her desk and took out a stack of A4 papers. The evidence is here. Aren't you going to admit it? The A4 paper was filled with words, some of them even read. Although these students had never seen the details of the commander, judging from the label, it was undoubtedly the script for commander. Yu Yu never left her seat today. How could she have taken your script? Wang Jiji turned around and argued. Furthermore, Yu Yu is not even interested in the script for Commander. Given Nian Yu's sloppy personality, she was used to being unbridled. How could she possibly obediently act? Not to mention getting Liang Yu's script from the same class. Who knows? Liang Yu sneered. I thought you were noble, but in the end, you were just the sort to do things behind others. Shut up. Nian Yu then stood up slowly her eyes cold. It was so cold that when Liang Yu met those eyes, she subconsciously shivered. If you did it, just own up. Liang Yu suppressed the fear in her heart. This isn't over. Then, she walked out and went straight to the principal's office. Principal Wang's expression turned ugly when he saw Liang Yu enter. Principal Wang, I believe that number one middle school has all kinds of teachers that are trustworthy, that's why they were hired by the school. But the students here are really worrying. 
Principal Wong had just hung up the phone when he saw her rushing over angrily. He had a headache. What do you mean? You also know that before the production team's script is broadcasted, they signed a confidentiality agreement. Liang Yu's face was ashen. Nian Yu stole my script. How are we going to settle this? How is that possible? Principal Wang shook his head. Nian Yu would not do such a thing, that girl was too nonchalant to be bothered to do such a thing. Now that all the witnesses and evidence are here, are you still going to side with your students? Liang Yu's face turned pale. In that case, I don't mind handing it to the judicial department to resolve, don't be rash. Principal Wang comforted her first. I will investigate this matter thoroughly and I will give you an explanation. Then, she called Duan Yu and asked Nian Yu to come over. In just a few minutes, the door of the principal's office was pushed open. However, this time, it was a man in his twenties. Behind him was a man in black. That man was very cold but attracted attention wherever he went. Chapter 98 I'll have her back you are listening at novel full dot audio. Chapter 98 I'll have her back Principal Wang's heart skipped a beat when he saw who it was. The ninth master of the Fu family. The man at the top of the pyramid was only in Jiang City for an important matter. He didn't expect him to still be here. When she saw Fu Xiuyuan, Liang Yu was instantly ecstatic. After all, he was the key reason why she came to Jiang City. Brother Xiu Yuan, you're here. Liang Yu called out when she saw him. Her words further confirmed her relationship with Fu Xiu Yuan. What happened? Jiang Jincheng asked first. You also know that I came here to make up for lost scenes. The last time Director Shen came to look for me in class, he was preparing to talk about the next collaboration, Liang Yu briefly told him what happened. Jiang Jincheng's expression changed slightly when he heard that. That's impossible, right? With Nian Yu's cold personality, how could she possibly steal from others? Who knew that the students of number one middle school would have such standards, Liang Yu sneered. She glanced at Fu Xiuyuan, wanting to see something from his face. However, the man did not even look at her from the start to the end. He only took out his phone as if he was making a call. The man was slender, but his aura was cold. The cold air dropped a few degrees. We haven't investigated this matter yet, Principal Wang explained, I believe that Nian Yu wouldn't do such a thing either, Nian Yu is a student from your school. Of course you would shield her. Liang Yu's manager arrived late. When she saw Jiang Jincheng and the man with his back facing them, her mind was already racing. That man was at the top of the pyramid in the imperial capital. Ordinary people could only look up to him. Now, he was at number one middle school. There's no evidence, Principal Wang's face did not look too good when he saw her aggressively. Evidence. It's simple. The surveillance cameras in the class are all on. If you get someone to pull out the surveillance cameras, won't the truth be out? The manager was aggressive. Our Liang family's eldest daughter came to number one middle school because of your teaching resources. Is the eldest daughter of the Liang family someone you can bully? Principal Wang's expression was extremely ugly. He got the teachers from the technical team to pull out the surveillance footage of Class A. The theft occurred in the afternoon. Liang Yu left the classroom after school at noon and only returned at two in the afternoon. There were two hours in between. The technical team turned on the surveillance camera and looked a little upset. No, Class A surveillance cameras were hacked during the lunch break today, Class A surveillance cameras were usually on, but they happened to be hacked this afternoon. TCH when the manager heard this reason, he sneered in disdain. Please find a proper reason. The surveillance cameras in Class A were not damaged earlier or later, but they were damaged during the theft. Was it done by your class? Everyone knew that Wang Zhizhi from Class A had managed to repair the network with her computer skills. If you have problems with this website, 
please continue reading your novel on our new website freewebnovel.com thanks. It was not difficult for her to hack into Class A surveillance cameras. This was the first thought in Principal Wang's mind. Can it be fixed? Principal Wang turned around and asked the technical teacher. It's difficult. The technical teacher did not look too good. Actually, it's useless even if it's fixed. I reckon the surveillance cameras have been turned off during the afternoon break, if the surveillance cameras were on and were hacked, there was a possibility of recovery. However, if the surveillance cameras were turned off, there would be no footage at all. This matter could not be explained clearly no matter what. Who turned off the surveillance cameras in Class A? Principal Wang continued asking. I'm not sure about that, the technical team teacher replied. But I saw Lin Nan enter the surveillance room today, Lin Nan is from Class A, right? Liang Yu sneered. If I remember correctly, he has a good relationship with Nian Yu. Almost all the evidence was pointing at Nian Yu. Even Principal Wang was a little helpless. At this moment, the door of the principal's office was opened from the outside and a young girl in a sky.blue school uniform walked in. She still looked cavalier. With one hand in her pocket, there was a hint of impatience on her cold face. Did you steal Liang Yu's script? When the manager saw Nian Yu, he was so angry that he almost jumped up. You're so young and yet you're so insensible. Have you learned a lot about how to play tricks? So what if you get the script? Will you be allowed to act in this show? The man who had just hung up heard the manager's words and his eyes instantly darkened. We haven't investigated his matter yet, so you should not frame Nian Yu, right? The manager's scolding was too unpleasant. Duan Yu could not help but frown. Besides, this is a matter between two students, Liang Yu had moved her manager over, obviously wanting to cause trouble. Liang Yu has only been in Jiang City for three days. I haven't even looked for you guys to settle the matter of you throwing her out because she was alone the last time. Now that you've stolen the script, I don't think we can resolve this matter satisfactorily. Let's call the police. The manager was about to take out his phone when he felt a pain in his wrist and the phone in his hand fell to the ground. The black phone screen fell and turned black. Noisy. The aloof girl leaned against the wall slowly, holding a pen. Why, do you dare to do it but not admit it? This is the script for, Commander. There are so many people fighting for it. If it's leaked, Director Shen can sue you until you're bankrupt. The manager wanted to say something else, but he felt his mouth go numb. A pen holder had already been thrown into his mouth. The aloof girl just leaned there slowly, but after hearing what she said, her aura became even colder. If you did it, you should just own up. Liang Yu was so angry that her face turned ashen. Is this how number one middle school protects its students? Since you guys aren't willing to call the police, should I just ask my family to settle this? Liang Yu's face was ashen. It's just a small argument between students, why must you be so unreasonable? Jiang Jincheng couldn't stand it anymore and stopped her. Furthermore, from the start to the end, Nian Yu that little girl did not say a word. If not for her bad expression, he would have thought that Nian Yu was an outsider and was purely here to watch the show. Is this still a small fight? Liang Yu laughed in anger. As long as she was not willing to reconcile, Nian Yu's life would be ruined if she sued her. It's indeed not a small incident. Nian Yu's expression was not good. There was some impatience written on her face. Do you remember the contents of, Commander? Recite it for me. Nian Yu rubbed her temples. There was a hint of impatience in her voice, but the aura of a leader was still emitted in an instant. Are you mute? You've read the contents for so long and you can't remember a single word. Nian Yu glanced at her. Memorize. One look was enough to send chills down Liang Yu's spine. She had been in the entertainment circle for so long and had seen all kinds of people. However, when she met Nian Yu's bottomless eyes, she still subconsciously shivered. 
such confidential information, I'll wait. Nian Yu crossed her arms. Liang Yu could not withstand the pressure from Nian Yu and stumbled as she really tried reciting. 201 Triple X, although her memorization was not smooth, she managed to recall parts of the script. You were wrong in at least five places, the cold girl curled her lips coldly. The female protagonist is called an Shan, not an Rong. The aircraft model is R10, Liang Yu's expression darkened further when she heard her words. She was an actress and yet she could not remember the contents of the script as clearly as Nian Yu. This was equivalent to slapping her in the face. But so what, since Nian Yu could clearly remember the contents of the script, it could coincidentally mean that she had read the script. What can I do? Nian Yu sneered and slowly walked towards Liang Yu. With that brain of yours, no wonder you can only perform. Her undisguised disdain made Liang Yu's face turn even paler. Her short dot term memory was indeed average. Besides, she had only read the script once. You want to say that I took your script? Ha! Huh. Nian Yu sneered and walked slowly towards the technical team teacher. Lend me your computer. Then, she sat on it and started typing. Her fingers were so fast that only a silhouette could be seen on the keyboard. Two minutes later, the surveillance footage of Class A was brought out. It was 12.15 p.m. The student on duty bent down to pick up the A4 paper on the ground, and Liang Yu walked over. She took a photo with her phone. Everyone present was still dumbfounded. This could only mean that Nian Yu had Liang Yu's script a long time ago and could not prove that she was innocent. Nian Yu pulled out another recording. It was Shen Jinran's voice. Nian Yu, this is the contents of the first three scenes. You can take a look first, here, almost everything fell into place. Liang Yu was the one who took Nian Yu's script. Then, she framed Nian Yu for stealing her script and even wanted to cause a scene. From beginning to end, Liang Yu was behind the theft. So, do I still need to say anything more? Nian Yu sneered. Miss Liang, Nian Yu looked down on this kind of clumsy technique. Before everyone could react, Nian Yu had already turned around and left the classroom. Liang Yu's face turned pale. The reason she had made a scene was because she was certain that the surveillance cameras were switched off. However, she did not know that Nian Yu had really brought out the surveillance cameras for her afternoon nap. The man who had been silent all this while only glanced at her. His eyes were pitch dot black but also terrifyingly cold. Brother Xiu Yuan, Liang Yu's lips twitched, but she didn't know what to say. Dot Fu Xiu Yuan did not even bat an eyelid at her address. Even after Liang Yu left the school gate, her back was still drenched in cold sweat. Her manager's expression was also not good, but her face was still arrogant. The young master of the Fu family came to school for you. Marrying you will only bring benefits and no harm, Liang Yu was the daughter of the Liang family and a figure in the upper dot class circle of the imperial capital. With this gold medal, her manager could do whatever she wanted in the entertainment industry. Chapter 99 Son, have you blossomed? You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 99 Son, Have You Blossomed? When Nian Yu returned to class, the other students surrounded her. Sister Yu, how did you resolve this matter? Could Liang Yu have blown things up? This group of students usually played well with Lin Nan. In addition, they often played games with Nian Yu. Therefore, their relationship with Nian Yu was not bad. Nian Yu slowly returned to her seat and said simply, I checked the surveillance cameras. She did not say much and clearly did not want to talk about this. Seeing that she was not interested, the other students did not continue asking. Other students could not read her mind. They lay there and whispered to Lin Nan, Sister you wouldn't do such a thing, would she? What do you think? Lin Nan rolled his eyes at him. Sister Yu doesn't fancy that lousy script of Liang Yu's. It was one thing for someone like Liang Yu, to be regarded as a goddess in other classes, but their sister Yu was cold and cool. 
Her personality and strength overshadowed Liang Yu's. How could she have done such a thing? Only Wang Zhizhi was relatively calm. After all, she had taken a few glances at the script for Nian Yu and it was fundamentally different from the one Liang Yu was holding. When Liang Yu returned to class, school was almost over in the afternoon. When the other students saw her enter the class, they did not even look up. Liang Yu had always been arrogant. In addition, she had been thrown out by Nian Yu the previous time. This time, she was much more obedient. However, her face was extremely pale. There was a faint blood mark on her forehead. It did not look too obvious, as if it had been cut by a sharp object. She covered it with her hand and lowered her head to reply to a few messages. When she looked up again, her expression had returned to normal. At the same time a man in black was holding a black fountain pen, his expression unclear. Jiang Jincheng looked at the message on the other end of the computer and rubbed his eyes in disbelief. The IP address the technical team is tracking is the same as the one Liang Yu found out. They're both at number one middle school, do you think it's possible that it's Nian Yu? Jiang Jincheng touched his chin. Today was the first time he saw Nian Yu use a computer. Number one middle school had a computer class and students with good computer talent. Wang Zhizhi was one of them. However, Nian Yu's method of recovering the surveillance camera today was different from what Wang Zhizhi had used. If you have problems with this website, please continue reading your novel on our new website freewebnovel.com thanks. To be precise, Nian Yu's technique was more experienced. But that little girl grew up in the countryside. She doesn't even have many opportunities to interact with computers, information by heart, but the Nian Yu he knew was different from the description in the documents. When Nian Chaoyu received the call from the head of the Liang family, he had just come out of the meeting room. Seeing that it was an unknown call, he answered the call. Nian Chaoyu, it's only been a few years since we last met, why have you become so bold? The voice on the other end sounded like he was in his forties. His voice was a little old, but his tone was filled with superiority. Director Liang. When he realized who it was, Nian Chaoyu's back was already drenched in cold sweat. It seems like you're living too comfortably in the near future, the voice that came from the other end was mixed with mockery, making Nian Chaoyu's heart race. When Nian Chaoyu hung up the phone, his face was filled with cold sweat as if he had just come out of the water. Then, he called her assistant. Organize a set of information for me regarding what happened in school during the near term. The assistant was very fast. When Nian Chaoyu received the information, his face darkened. It was Nian Yu again. She had already left the Nian family, yet she could still cause him such trouble. Nian Chao was so angry that his face turned ashen. He didn't even get off work before heading to number one middle school. After Nian Yu finished school, she packed her things and left the classroom. When she reached the school gate, she realized that the black car was there. When Nian Chaoyu's assistant saw her, he had already walked over. Second mistress, sir wants to talk to you about something. His voice was neither cold nor indifferent, and it even carried a hint of superiority. He was the new assistant and had been serving Nian Chaoyu for less than a month. It was said that the second mistress of the Nian family had left the Nian family because she had made a mistake. She was someone who had scored a little over 200 points in the middle school examination. Therefore, when he looked at Nian Yu, there was a hint of superiority in his eyes. When Nian Yu heard this, she did not even raise her eyelids and spat out two words coldly, I'm not free. This was the first time that the assistant had seen Nian Yu. He thought that Nian Yu was a little girl who had come from the countryside. She had already been chased out of the Nian family, so what was the point of putting on an act now? He signaled to the bodyguards behind him with his eyes to make a move on her. Second mistress, sir came to look for you personally, the bodyguards behind him received his orders and two of them were ready to pull her away. However, before they could touch Nian Yu, the arm of one of the bodyguards had already been grabbed by someone. Crack. It was the sound of an arm breaking. 
The other bodyguard wanted to hit her, but before he could touch Nian Yu, he was already kicked to the ground. The aloof girl had one hand in her pocket and her eyes were extremely quiet. Nian Chaoyu waited for a while but did not see Nian Yu. When he got out of the car, he saw a young girl in a sky.blue school uniform with one hand in her pocket and an overly cold expression on her face. In front of her were two bodyguards lying on the ground with painful expressions. The assistant at the side had already turned pale from fear, not knowing how to react. Nian Yu. Nian Chaoyu's face darkened. How dare she hit someone outside? Initially, he thought that Nian Yu would humble herself after he came over to invite her out of goodwill. He did not expect her to beat up the bodyguards to such an extent. What's the matter? Nian Yu raised her eyebrows. Nian Chaoyu rubbed his temples and his face darkened. Apologize to Miss Liang with me, even if Nian Yu had nothing to do with the Nian family now, the Liang family in the imperial capital would only deal with the Nian family. You're sick. Nian Yu sneered and could not be bothered with him. She turned around and left. Nian Chao was furious. In the end, he took out his phone and said, Bring someone over. Nian Chaoyu's eyes were deep. Since he had spoken nicely to Nian Yu, she refused. Then don't blame him for using extreme methods. Nian Yu had one hand in her pocket and her sky blue school blazer was loosely draped over her body. She found it noisy and had an earpiece in her ear. Her jade-like face was a little cold. After walking for some time, Nian Yu's lips curled up into a teasing smile. She then stopped, put down her bag and stretched her muscles. Bones creaked. A group of men in black had appeared in front of her, led by the assistant from just now. The assistant pushed his glasses up the bridge of his nose and said in a dark voice, Second mistress, you were unhappy when sir invited you back and insisted on being unreasonable. Why did you have to do that? Let's just see whose fist is harder. Nian Yu sneered and rushed into the crowd. The group of people who had come with the assistant had already surrounded her upon hearing her orders. Five minutes later the group of men in black who were surrounding her just now have all collapsed onto the ground in pain. Only the girl in the sky.blue school uniform had a cold back view and an extremely cold face. Go back and tell Nian Chaoyu not to meddle in my matters. The aloof girl shrugged indifferently and picked up her bag from the ground before turning to leave. After the Liang family had finished his call, his expression softened a little. It was just a small Nian family, yet they were bullying the Liang family. Yu Yu suffered quite a bit this time, Mother Liang chimed in from the side. Do you really think our Liang family is a pushover? Father Liang patted her shoulder to console her, how can the eldest daughter of the Liang family be bullied, he didn't care about Jiang City. The Liang family head had made a good plan, but he never expected the situation to turn around in the afternoon. When he received the call, the head of the Liang family was sitting on the sofa reading the newspaper. When he heard the phone ring, he sneered and took the call. The Liang family's business was not small. At the very least, in the eyes of Jiang City's people, they needed to look up to them. However, he didn't expect to receive a call from Jiang Jincheng. Uncle Liang, your life has been pretty stable these two days, Father Liang subconsciously sat up straight. Jincheng, the Liang family was huge but could not be compared to the Jiang family. He usually did not interact much with Jiang Jincheng, but he knew that although Jiang Jincheng usually looked friendly, he was actually a ruthless person. Liang Yu ran to Jiang City these few days. She didn't manage to settle the matter properly, but there's a pile of mess, Jiang Jincheng smiled insincerely. I thought Uncle Liang would know about the people you should leave alone. His words were light, but it made Father Liang's face turn black. Jiang Jincheng's meaning was actually Fu Xiuyuan's intention. Jiang Jincheng usually helped Liang Yu a lot when she was able to join Fu Xiuyuan's technical team, but now that he was calling him, it meant that things were not trivial. Liang Yu had touched someone she shouldn't have. Other than Fu Xiuyuan, he couldn't think of anyone else he shouldn't have touched. What's the matter? 
who called? Mother Liang asked when she saw his expression. Get Liang Yu to come back, Father Liang's voice was a little tired. Why? The one who did the wrong thing was clearly that person called Nian Yu, shut up. Father Liang's face was ashen. Do you know whom you've offended this time? Father Liang took his coat from the sofa and walked out in two or three steps. At the thought of that man, Father Liang unconsciously broke out in a cold sweat. The ninth master of the Fu family. He was not someone he could afford to offend. Father Liang asked the chauffeur to send him to the Fu family. The Fu family were powerful and were involved in almost everything, including medical education, real estate, and the light electronics industry. Others only knew that the ninth master of the Fu family was a famous figure in the imperial capital and that he was indifferent and low. Key. However, he had interacted with Fu Xiuyuan and knew this man to be far more troublesome than he had imagined. Fu Heng hadn't returned yet, so only Madame Fu was at home. When she saw Father Liang coming over to apologize, she didn't say anything it was only when Father Liang left that Madame Fu hurriedly took out her phone and called Fu Xiuyuan. Son, have you blossomed? Chapter 100 I will give you a beating you are listening at novel full dot audio. Chapter 100 I will give you a beating, mom. What's the matter? Fu Xiuyuan's voice was low. He did not respond directly to her question. Mrs. Fu was so excited that she almost cried. She had almost resigned herself to the possibility that her son would one day bring a male partner back to meet her. Anything else? No, 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 Madame Fu hurriedly waved her hands at him. It's all right, you don't have to come back. Your father is fine at home. It's fine if you don't come back for three to five years. Madame Fu was still a little agitated after hanging up the call. She called Fu Heng again. Hubby, I think we're going to have a daughter. In law, when Liang Yu returned to class the next day, her expression was clearly extremely ugly. By the second period, she was transferred to another class. The bodyguards behind her were no longer as arrogant as they were at the start. They followed behind Liang Yu and did not even dare to let out a fart. Zen when the Class A students saw her transfer, none of them looked up. On the other hand, a few sports students from Class B came over to help. While they were moving the books, they narrowed their eyes and looked at the last row. Nian Yu, who was in the last row, was leaning against the wall reading a book. She had already read most of the thick medical book in her hand. She seemed to be dissatisfied with the commotion in the class, and her eyes were filled with impatience. This big boss usually spoke little, but she definitely could not be offended. When they thought about how Chen Iran had been beaten up by her, Class B students did not dare to dawdle. They carried Liang Yu's book and ran out. It didn't didn't look like Liang Yu requested for the transfer. Instead, she looked like she had been kicked out. After all, the last time she was disobedient, Nian Yu had grabbed her collar and threw her out. The class returned to normal. Nian Yu opened her chat app and saw that it was a message from Shin Jinran asking her if she was going to film. Okay, during the winter break. It was a simple and neat sentence. When Shin Jinran received the news, he almost thought that he was seeing things. ENV he never expected that Nian Yu, with her cold personality, would really agree to shoot the film. When he saw Nian Yu fight on the field, there was only one thought in his mind. The role of Anshan was definitely hers. If you have problems with this website, please continue reading your novel on our new website freewebnovel.com thanks. Even without an audition, she could totally take on this role. Then let's shoot with a few substitutes and stuntmen first, I don't need a substitute. When Shin Jin Ran saw her reply, he composed himself and replied. There are many explosions and fighting scenes. I will arrange for a teacher to train you, just give me the script. She had no inkling of acting in this era. She agreed to shoot this drama only because the role in Commander was very suitable for her. She had watched a few fight scenes filmed by Liang Yu. 
There was a heavy use of substitutes and she got into a bad mood when she thought about Liang Yu taking on the role. Thinking about that, she decided to take on the role. Commander had already started shooting in a low-key manner. Other than the female lead, the rest of the staff were already in place. The male lead was Jiang Yen who had received a number of awards in the past few years. He had been in the army for a few years and never used a substitute for filming. No matter how dangerous the scene was, he would always perform personally. Not only did he have good looks, his acting skills were also widely lauded. He did not see the female lead on the first day of filming, so he casually asked his assistant, hasn't the role of Anshan been confirmed yet? Director Shin said that she's a female student and is in school now. She needs to come over during the winter break. The assistant continued to explain to him. I heard that she met director Shen when he was filming his last movie. Since he specially invited her, her skills should be good. When filming, it's not good enough if one's kung fu is good. Jiang Yan's lips twitched. This was the first day of filming and she was already throwing her weight around. However, he was not in a hurry. There were scenes later on. He wanted to see what kind of female student could be so shameless. The next few days passed peacefully. A few days later, it happened to be Lin Nan's birthday. Lin Nan had already reserved a spot at the bar. After school, Lin Nan and his buddies went over first. Only Nian Yu and Wang Jiji slowly packed their things. Yu Yu, have you thought of what to give Lin Nan? Wang Jiji asked on the way. Wang Jiji was used to being alone and did not interact much with her classmates. Nian Yu stopped and thought about it carefully. I'll give him a beating. Ha! Huh. Wang Jiji was shocked. Yu Yu, didn't Lin Nan study hard these two days? She wanted to beat him up on his birthday. What's wrong with a beating? Nian Yu had one hand in her pocket and her voice was serious. Wang Jiji thought that she was joking, although Nian Yu had never cracked jokes like that. Nian Yu had seriously considered it and felt that beating Lin Nan up was the best birthday gift she could give him. After all, every time he fought with her, Lin Nan would improve. When the two of them reached the entrance of the bar, a waiter had already answered, Are you looking for Lin Nan? I'll bring you over first, thank you. Nian Yu nodded slightly and followed. The bar was filled with noise and confusion. This was the best bar in the entire Jiang city. Lin Nan was a senior member here. Before he came, he specially instructed the waiter not to recognize the wrong person. The private room on the second floor was very quiet. It was a far cry from the noise on the first floor. When Yen Yu pushed open the door, the group of people had already walked up to her. Sister Yu. You're finally here. Hurry up and help me clear this game. Sister Yu, let me know first. We have a good relationship. I'll make notes for you in class, Sister Yu. This group of brats usually followed behind Lin Nan and had a good relationship with Nian Yu. Perhaps even they did not realize that they had already regarded Nian Yu as their leader. Come on, we're here to drink today. What's the point of playing games? Wang Lu dispersed them. If you guys could focus on your studies, sister you wouldn't be the only goddess of studying in our class, that's different. Sister you is the real god of studies, while we are the bad students, this group of rich second dot generation heirs was glib dot tongued. However, with Wang Lu brushing everyone off, she did not say anything else. Get lost. Lin Nan kicked one of them and ran to Nian Yu with starry eyes. Sister Yu, did you prepare something for my birthday today? Nian Yu had a cold personality. He was looking forward to Nian Yu taking out something different. Yes. Nian Yu nodded. I'll give it to you later. All right. Lin Nan agreed readily. He invited her to his seat, unable to hide the joy on his face. Wang Jiji's lips twitched and she could not bear to tell him the truth. The students at the side were all clamoring. Nian Yu casually took a plate of melon seeds and started eating them. 
they were all seventeen or eighteen years old. Nian Yu did not like them, but she did not hate them either. The group of kids played for a long time before Nian Yu slowly got up to go out for some fresh air. Said compared to the second floor, the atmosphere on the first floor was undoubtedly more lively. In the middle of the first floor, a group of men was surrounding a woman in waiter's clothes. The woman's face was red, and it was obvious that she had been drunk. Weren't you pretty good back then? Why aren't you saying anything now? Sitting at the head of the table was a young man in his twenties. He was holding a glass of wine and his eyes were filled with disdain. I told you, I have nothing to do with him anymore. If you want to look for him, look for Wang Wei. Zhao Limei stood up from the ground with an indifferent expression and turned to leave. However, the person behind her did not give her the chance. When he saw her stand up, he kicked her knee, making her kneel onto the broken glass shards. Zhao Limei's face turned pale. What else do you want? What are you doing? The man in the lead had a dark expression. Since he can't be found, I'll use your life to pay for it. He casually took the unopened red wine glass and walked over. Zhao Limei's face was pale. She struggled to get up from the ground, but her back was suddenly stepped on, causing her to fall even harder. The shattered glass shards on the ground pierced even deeper into her knees. The man didn't even frown when he saw her. He walked over with the bottle of wine and squatted down. He raised her chin. If you weren't blind to follow Wang Wei, I would have kept the bed warm for you, if you drink this bottle, I'll pretend nothing happened, the man sneered, unscrewed the cap and poured it on her head. Impossible. I don't owe you a single cent. Zhao Limei's face was pale, but she was unwilling to admit defeat. Then, let's see if your bones are harder than my wine bottle. The man's face turned ashen. He took out another bottle of red wine and raised his hand to smash it. The dark green wine bottle, the dark red wine, and the bright red blood mixed together, making one's heart stop. A wine bottle was smashed onto the man's forehead, and blood was flowing out. The aloof girl had already stood behind him. She had one hand in her pocket and the other holding the broken wine bottle. Only that face was indescribably vicious. The person who was supposed to beat someone up had been beaten up. The bar was in a mess. The onlookers didn't dare to stay any longer and ran out like a swarm of bees. Zhao Limei had already closed her eyes and was waiting for the bottle to hit her. However, the pain she imagined did not come after a long time. A fair hand appeared in front of her. Zhao Limei looked up and saw the girl standing in front of her. She squatted down and gave her the hand. Get up. Zhao Limei grabbed her hand and stood up. Thank you for today. You can go first, these people were usually gangsters. Otherwise, they wouldn't be so arrogant in the bar. Leave. Can you guys leave? The man swayed as he stood up. Because he had lost too much blood, his vision turned black and he could not stand steadily. Catch her. The man's face was ashen as he ordered the people behind him, hurry up. You go first. Zhao Limei's face was pale. She wanted to push Nian Yu away without any explanation. You don't have to. The young girl in the sky dot blue school uniform took off her jacket, revealing a black sweater underneath. Her face was filled with wildness. Seeing a group of people rushing over, Nian Yu casually took a bottle of wine and rushed over. The bar was already in a mess. Someone had called the police, and someone had taken out his phone to take a video and uploaded it online. Only that aloof girl was extremely dazzling in the crowd. At this moment, in the private room on the second floor, the group of people did not see Nian Yu return after playing for a long time and got a little bored. Wang Lu stumbled in and leaned against the door, panting. Not good. Sister Yu is fighting with someone downstairs. Almost as soon as he finished speaking, Lin Nan's expression changed instantly and the group of people rushed down. The first floor was already in a mess. 
When Lin Nan rushed down with a group of people and saw the girl in the crowd, he rushed up without thinking the others followed. Seeing Nian Yu fighting with a group of people, they couldn't just stand by and do nothing. When the police arrived, they saw a group of kids smashing the bar. The man in black was lying on the ground, breathing heavily. Inside the police station, the group of people took turns taking statements. Nian Yu was the one who did the most. She had her legs crossed from the start to the end. Name. Nian Yu. Seeing her nonchalant expression, the policeman slammed the table. What can't you do at such a young age? How can a girl learn from others to fight? I didn't get beaten up. Why are you angry? Nian Yu said in all seriousness. The assumption was that was a girl and would easily suffer if she fought with men. But not only did she not suffer, she even beat up the other person. The police officer's face turned ashen from anger. He asked a few more questions. Although Nian Yu was cooperative, her tone was really not good. Lock them all up. No matter who comes today, you can't let them go. The police officer was furious. It was one thing for a group of students who were still in school not to learn well, but they actually fought so boldly. Before long, Director Jiang arrived. Chief Jiang, why are you here? When that person saw Director Jiang coming over, he hurriedly went up to him. If I hadn't come, Jiang City would have been turned upside down by you. Director Jiang's face was ashen. When he saw the girl leaning against the wall with her arms crossed, his heart skipped a beat. What are you waiting for? Let her go. She had yet to settle the score with him the last time, and now she was at the police station. If anything happened to her in Jiang City, he really wouldn't be able to hold on to his job anymore. But she hit, no matter who it is, let them go immediately. Director Zhang's face was ashen. The person had never seen him so angry before. He asked carefully, then the group of students with her.